Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, I also want to give honor to God because without God, I don't think I could do the work that I do every day. Um, I want to thank the San Francisco chapter of the National Coalition of Black Women for this award. And I also want to thank several people from my family, my mom, my mother-in-law, my daughter Jasmine, Grace and Brianna and the Wright family are here today. So thank you for coming today. Um, I was going to um, write a speech today, but I'm an educator, so I'd like to tell you a story. Is that okay? Yes. Okay, so I've been working for San Francisco Unified School District for 25 years. And of those 25 years, 21 years have been at Jose Ortega Elementary School. I've been the principal there for the past nine years. 17 years ago, when I was a teacher, I was a first grade, second grade teacher, and I remember standing on the yard. And as I stood on the yard, I saw a little girl being pulled by a teacher across the yard, and she was hitting the teacher, and she was saying, let me go, let me go, I'm gonna tell my mama, let me go. And I asked the principal, I said, who, who is that child? And she was like, that's Paloma. I was like, okay. And she goes, Paloma's really something. I said, Paloma's in kindergarten? She said, yeah. I said, can I have Paloma next year? And she was like, why would you want Paloma? I said, why wouldn't I want Paloma? And so when the fall came, Paloma came. And when Paloma came, Paloma was so happy. She came in school. She was smart. She was bright. She was excited, and for the first week, she was wonderful. And then the honeymoon was over. <laughs> Paloma would come to school someday. She'd be so angry, I'd have to move the kids out of the way because she was a raging bull, and she was very upset. There was a lot of stuff going on at Paloma's house. Her mother had substance abuse problems. It was an illness. She was raised by several um, family members. And often she would come to school and she would be like, Miss Washington, my heart is hurting, it's hurting. And I'm like, why is your heart hurting? Because my mama said she's going to come home last night and she didn't come home. And I would turn my head because I didn't want Paloma to see me cry. And so when we went into second grade, because I kept my kids for two years, one day Paloma didn't come to school. And then she didn't come to school again. And I started to worry what's going on, and I found out that Paloma's family had moved to Alameda, and Paloma was gone. But Paloma was never gone in my mind, and every year there would be in my mind, I would stop and say, gosh, I wonder what happened to Paloma. And so 15 years went by, and I, every year I would say, I wonder what happened to Paloma. So when school began this year in August, I had my cell phone in my bedroom because the lights had went out in the neighborhood and I needed to be ready for the first day back to work. And I remember turning off the alarm on my phone and I remember my husband coming upstairs, he was downstairs and he came upstairs and I'm sitting on the side of the bed and there are these tears just coming down my face and my husband's like, what is wrong? And I said, Paloma. And he's like, what are you talking about? Because he thought somebody had passed away. And I said, Paloma. He said, what are you talking about? I said, she sent me an email. And I want to read it to you. It says, dear Mrs. Washington, it is Paloma. I was in your first and second grade class many years ago. I had to email you to give you an update and just to thank you for being an amazing teacher and always pushing me to do great, even with my horrible behavior. I am currently a graduating senior at Prairie View A&M University near Houston, Texas. I will graduate in May with a degree in civil engineering and I am doing outstanding. I have tackled many obstacles to get where I am today and I did it with the help of God, my family, and great teachers and professors along the way and you are one of them. The students at Jose Ortega are so very lucky to have you as their principal. Again, I want to give you an update and say thank you for everything. Paloma M. Woods, Prairie View, a&M University Civil Engineering Student, President of the American Civil Engineers, 
I started the school year out sharing Paloma's story, and in December, Paloma came to visit me, and I made sure to take Paloma around to every teacher in my school. And as I introduced Paloma to my teachers, they wept, because they all want a Paloma. And you all can have a Paloma. Please don't give up on children. Thank you so much. So emotional. I'm sorry. I got emotional. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't make people cry. No, that's okay. I'm working Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, oh.